guys and welcome for a new video. Today we're doing a brand focus and the brand we're gonna focus on is Makeup Revolution London. Let's do a little bit of background first. So Makeup Revolution London was launched last year in March 2014. So it's over a year old and since then that brand has never failed to blow my mind. Let's just be honest here with drugstore's price. Really low price for great quality so what more can you ask? It's affordable, it's great quality, it's cruelty free, which is really important and the wide range of products is amazing. Apparently, according to their website, there is more than 300 different products. They're just a year old, that's amazing and they're releasing new stuff all the time. So I needed to put my little nose in there and see if that brand was worth, you know, the hype, not the hype, but the quality and the statement that they pushing forward saying that great quality, small price, you know what I mean. So that's why I'm making a brand focus about them. I just want to share with you the products that I have, review them a little bit and give you my opinions. That's the point of that video. And note on the side, yes, I'm wearing a scarf. It's just because I'm in love with that scarf. And again, it's a CK scarf, so a Kath Kitson scarf. I will put a link below if you like it because I know that a lot of people will be like, why is she wearing a scarf? Because I want to, and it's that time of the year where you don't know if you're cold or if you're hot, so yeah, the scarf is really helping right now. So let's start that video, shall we? So the first product I'm gonna talk about is the Iconic 2 palette, which is a dupe for the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. And ladies, yes, it's worth the hype, that's a dupe, I love it, and it's 4 quid. That's the best product of the whole bunch, I have to say. Um, I need to get my hands on the other dupes of the other Naked palettes, but this one is pretty freaking amazing. I've talked about it a lot, I've raved about it a lot. There is a blog post about it that will link below if you want to see more swatches, but um, let's swatch three here so you can see um, how it actually really looks. I'm gonna swatch the three first shimmery color so you can see how freaking pigmented they are. It's just like, it's unbelievable to think that it's from a um, drugstore quality. It is buttery, it is um, smooth, it stays put all day long. You just have to make sure that you put a base on your eyelid. But overall, I mean, that baby is the best dupe ever. Because there's a lot of brands that came up with dupes, but this one is the best of them all. And the price is the best of them all as well. So I give a big thumbs up to that and uh, that's why I'm talking first about it because that's my favorite of the bunch. The second product I'm gonna talk about is I believe a limited edition one and that uh, the El Dia de los Muertos uh, palette. That's one of their salvation palette which means that the color are really in your face. But that's why I like that palette so that's how it look. I mean it's just a simple freaking palette. Sorry for the shape of that thing. It's been loved. And that's how it looks. So I've talked about it already in a few videos, I think, but a while ago. So this palette is a mix of really, really unusual colors. So let me read through. There's 18 exclusive shades, 12 are shimmers, 6 are mattes, and 3 are exclusive colors. And the 3 exclusive colors are here, those two here, and um, the pinky fuchsia one color here. So that is freaking pigmented as well. Just one swatch and um, that is insane. And um, I've tried it, uh, I've tried the uh, more um, purpley tone right here. I haven't tried the really in your face. If you want to see maybe a tutorial about it, just comment below and I'll see what I can do. But I love that palette. You cannot really find it. I think it's um, available on the website right now. But um, it's six pounds, it's really great, and I love the unusual colors here that you cannot really find anywhere else. It's not that I'm gonna use them all the time, but it's just, you know, some colors that you need to have if you need to have a special occasions or, you know, a party or whatever. Next product is an eyeliner, and sorry for the shape because all the, um, the name and everything is gone, but that's the Liquid Eyeliner in Ultra Black. I love it, it's one pound fifty. It's just a regular eyeliner, just, you know, truth to be told, there is nothing amazing about it. It's easy to apply, the formula is amazing, and it doesn't smudge. And also the wand is really easy to control. I have really watery eyes, my eyes, you know, cry on their own all the time, and it's really hard to keep my makeup on my eyes, so... I'm always on the hunt for good products, and uh, in drugstore, 
I kind of tried every single eyeliner and I'm always disappointed and this one is great I just love it I just you know it's just a bit watery that's the only bad point of that thing so it's really black but a bit watery you have to apply a few coats you know to have that really black color that the eyeliner should be so that's the only bad downside on, of that product but overall for 150 what more can you ask if you're on a budget just go for that one please let's talk about highlighter i have two for you this one is the vivid baked highlighter and it's in pink lights and it's amazing have you ever seen a purple highlighter before because i haven't so that's why let's be honest that's why i picked that up in the first place but it's freaking pigmented let's um let's face it when you see it like that you're like meh it's nothing really unusual but yeah it's really unusual look at that that's freaking unusual that's amazing i just love it it's i've never seen that in any high-end brand before and what i like it's well, i said highly pigmented and it stay put it doesn't move you're not sparkling everywhere you know on your face and um that's how uh, that's how it looks watch i need really a tissue right here and it's a unique formulation so for three pounds it's amazing and I really like the fact that they come in different colors and unusual colors because usually highlighter they kind of pinkish they kind of champagne color there's nothing really unusual about any highlighter but this one is you know it's a bit different that's why I like it I really love you this one is the goddess of love triple baked highlighter and I've talked about it in a recent video I believe and it's a dupe for the Too Faced one, even in the packaging. So that looks like that. It's a peachy pink champagne color. It's like a combination of all the highlighter that you've seen outside in one, which is great. Because when you don't know what to choose, well, you can go for this one because, you know, got everything. It's only $4.99 and it reflects the light beautifully. That's what I have on my cheek today because I went for a really simple makeup to do that video today. And I just really love it. Um, at first when you swatch it doesn't look really pigmented but when you apply it with a brush and you you know you switch everything like that and you put it on your face well it's freaking pigmented and it's one of those highlighter that you can put all over your face same as the other one in another way it's it's another formulation it's less powdery that one than the other one but this one will stay put as well it will give that it will give to your face that glow that is amazing and that really love so I really recommend that one out of all the highlighter they have in that heart shape box. Let's talk about lips. I have two products for you. The first one is one of their amazing care lipstick. And it's a dupe, I believe, again, um, I think for a clinic product. Um, this is the uh, Love a Hug shade. It's not that there's shade because it's more of a balm thingy. It's, it's really soothing and it hydrates and there is argan oil so that's the packaging it looks like so really you know slick and simple and inside ta-da so you have a clear um, texture around which is the argan oil and inside you have uh, the color which is really great I'm wearing that underneath my lipstick today and it's just a balm, but I like the fact that it's a real lipstick that you have inside. So it's more than a, just a balm. It's a two-in-one and I love it. And it's only three pounds. So that's amazing. I just like it. It's not your, your, it's not your usual balm. You're not going to grab that, you know, like just to soothe any, you know, problem that you have on your lips. But if you don't want to wear any makeup and you don't want to wear any lipstick, that's the easy to go solution for me. And that's a product that you can't really find in any drugstore product that's quite of a unique formulation and I really enjoy it so far last but not least I'm gonna talk about a lipstick and this lipstick is from the I love makeup range so it's really weird because makeup revolution is two brands in one brand they have they have makeup revolution London and I love makeup so this is from the I love makeup range and they are the lip geek lipstick and this color, let's face it, I just picked it up because of the color. It's Ken Will Want Me. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So those are freaking pigmented. They are creamy, which means that they glide on nicely. And um, let's talk as well about the packaging. It's a pink bullet. Let's take a moment. 
and um, there really looks like the Lime Crime uh, lipstick. Let's face it again. So it's a brand full of dupes, but we like it. We always like to save money, so why not? And um, I just like the fact that when you open it, it really looks like a pink nude, but when you swatch it on, it really looks freaking pigmented. And when you have it on the lips, it looks, it looks a little bit less pink. So it's really um, a product full of surprises. I can't wait to actually try other colors from the range. And um, what I really like as well is the 90s packaging. It really reminds me of the lipstick that I was wearing when I was a teenager, so that's really fun. It's, um, it's really great to be back on memory lane with that lipstick. And um, it's, the wearability is not really long, let's face it, but uh, a lot of high-end products don't last as well. Some MAC lipsticks don't last more than two hours. So I've done a video like this, if you want to link it down below and you'll see. It's not because you pay 15, 20 quid for your lipstick that it's gonna last forever. So $2.99, what more can you ask? And they have a variety of colors that are really cute, so that's why, um, give it a go. Out of all the lipstick formula they have, this one is really great. So the packaging is freaking cute, so why not? Overall, it's a really great company. Uh, if you're on a budget, I mean, why not? Because they have a lot of dupes and they have a lot of choices. And I haven't tried any um, foundation or any powder or anything, but I have to. But so far, that's seven products and so far I love them all. I haven't been disappointed yet, so um, you should try it out because it's really worth your money. Because when you think about it, I've talked about seven products that I don't think I've spent more than 25 quid for all those products, which is amazing. And the quality is there. So give it a try because those products are really great. My favorite one is the Iconic 2 and I love the lipstick. And I love the eyeliner. I love a lot of things, so I love them all. I mean, for different reasons. So that's it for me today, guys. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Follow me on social medias like Twitter, Instagram, on my blog right there. And of course, subscribe if you want more videos like that. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.